Hello, this is Pinky, and this is going to be a kind of video breakdown and tutorial for the Giggle Puck. Uh, this is a Giggle Puck that was made by the company Google Tech. And basically what it is, it's a little motor that is controlled through power and OSC. And whenever you are patted in game, it basically simulates that pat through the vibrating motor inside the device. Now this device is easily attached to any pre-existing headset. Uh, as long as you have a head strap here, basically you just slot it under and then you can just slide it in like that. And then that is how you attach the device. Some headsets may have thicker bands here. So if you want to make it easier, you can get a credit card under there and use that to lift it up. But otherwise, it's pretty much a simple install of just sliding it in. And the main thing that you'll need for this is a power source that is constantly powering it. So a, either a very long cable in a power outlet or a separate battery bank. So in this video, I'll actually be using a battery bank along with a decently long enough cable. And so what I'm going to do is just plug it in. And then what I'm going to do with the puck here is I'm going to plug it in, let it blink once, and then disconnect it and plug it in one more time. And this will be basically cycling it so that we can put it in edit mode. So right here, blinks once, disconnect it, and then again, plug it in. And then this white should become solid, which now means it's in setup mode. So once it's in setup mode, if you go over to your mobile device or your other device that has an internet connection, you'll see through all the networks at the top there, you'll actually see the GiggleTech Haptics one. And then we want to connect to that network. Now, after we've done that, it'll say that it's connecting and then it's basically going to show as no internet, which is normal. And so what you actually want to do is you want to click on the settings of this and you want to go to manage router. And this will basically open up uh, the Giggle Tech haptics. Alternatively, you can just go to this link right here, as you can see, and that will work the exact same. And so now that you are in here, we want to go to configuration. And it'll take a few seconds to load. And then what you'll see here is a list of every single Wi Fi connection that you have nearby. And so you want to pick the Wi Fi that corresponds to what the one that you're going to use. So in this example, I'm going to pick the top one here. And then we're actually going to pick this one. And as you can see, this is going to be my network here. And then you just put your network name and then your network's password here. And then if you're having any issues with this, uh, you can toggle the use static IP on and off. But I have it personally, so I leave that on. And then when you're done this, you want to go down to the bottom and hit save. So after you're done this, it'll come up with like a credential saved kind of page, a bunch of stuff like that. And then there should be a little link that says it's okay. You just want to click that when it pops up. And then now that you've done this, you should notice that the little light on your Giggle Tech is now gone, which now means that this thing is ready to go. So from now on, anytime that you plug it in one time, it will turn it on, which will mean the device is ready to connect with your computer. So I'm going to now move over to the PC setup things. Okay, now that we're done with the network setup side of things, what we'll have to do is go to Giggle Tech OSC Router, go to Releases, and then you're going to click the newest one. Then we're going to have a zip file here and we're going to download this. Now, after this zip file is downloaded, we're just going to go over to the extract all. We're going to hit extract. And then we're going to come up with this folder with three files inside. Now, the first file here will be the config file. And we'll actually need to edit something here. So with this right here, it says your device IP. To get your Giggle Text device IP, what you'll need to do is you'll go to giggletech.local and then you'll quickly grab your giggletech device here unplug it plug it back in you should see it blink three times and then if you wait a few seconds if you did everything right in the first step it should blink three more times and then vibrate just like that now that that is done you should be able to refresh this web page and then it will show you what your device's ip is so right here and then i'm going to hit Control c alternatively you can just right click and copy and then we're going to go to our folder here with our config. We're going to highlight this part here, hit control V or paste, and then hit save. And then this will basically be your device's IP. And then there's a bunch of other settings you can mess with. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to do the initial setup. Now that you're done with that, we're going to head over to that folder again, and we're going to open both of these applications. So run anyway, put this one here, run anyway, and I'm going to put this one down here. And now we can actually test our device. So this will be our router and this will be the tester. And so all we need to do is hit enter. 
and your device should start vibrating. Don't worry though if it doesn't because all you need to do is unplug it, plug it back in, wait for it to blink three times, yet again, and there you go. And now it should start working. So again, I'm going to hit enter. This will go through and then one more time, this will test the speed. And as you can see, the device is vibrating. This means that you have successfully set up the Giggle Tech, at least on the PC side of things. And you can actually get rid of this window now. This window was only for testing purposes. And now that we know that it works, we can get rid of it. Now, this window is going to be important. Uh, you'll need to keep this open whenever you want to use the device. And so you're basically done here. Now, in the case that you end up using any other OSC application, such as face tracking or anything like that, it's going to be a little bit more advanced. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So what we're going to do is close this first. And we're going to go ahead and download something called VOR. So VOR is a uh, OSC packet kind of uh, uh, merger. So it'll take two uh, applications and merge them into one output. So for this, all you have to do is go to this link here. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Go to releases, and we're going to download the newest one. I have already done this, so I'm going to quickly just open up my program. Now, this is what it will kind of look like when you first boot it. What I recommend doing right off the bat, go to config, and right here with asynchronous routing, I would recommend turning this off if you have a decently strong computer. Uh, it will consume more CPU, but if you use something like face tracking, it will make the face tracking way smoother. So I would recommend doing this and then hit save when you're done with that. Now, you'll have to, you'll see, you'll start on this main here and you'll see a start and debug and a bunch of other stuff. There's nothing really here. So what we want to do is we want to go to apps and we're going to add our new app. So what we're going to call this app is we're going to call this Giggle Tech. And then as you can see, we have an app port and a host IP. We don't have to change this one unless you change it elsewhere. We'll just need to change the port. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over back to that config file, double open it to open it up. And then after you've done that, you'll see that there is a port listening to. Now, 9001 is the normal port that your VR chat will listen to. And if there's two devices trying to do that, it will end up breaking both of them. So what you want to do is you want to change this to a unique number that no one else is using. So in this example, I'm just going to put a two there, increment it, and then hit save and then close that. And now what I want to do is if I go over to my VOR application and I head over to the app section, hit plus, we have the new app again, giggle tech. And then over here where it says the port, we're actually going to change this over to two and then we're going to hit add. Now that we've added the Google Tech, we'll need to add our other VRChat face tracking module or whatever OSC app you use. So I'm going to boot up VRC face tracking. And then what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to head over to settings. And then inside of the settings section, there should be the OSC addresses. And right here, the receive port, you want to change this one to a unique number. So in this example, I'm going to change this to three. Now that that is done, I will head over to the OSC router. I'll hit plus, hit new app. I'm going to rename this to uh, VRCFT for VRC face tracking. And then I'm just going to rename the app port to 00.3. And then when you hit add, you'll now see that you'll have them both here. And if you go over to your main, you'll now see that it both says stopped on both of these. Now what you can do is you can either choose to go debug mode or start mode. Um, if you want to test how it works, you can do debug. And this will basically mean that when these uh, OSC things trip, it'll show the packets going in and out. But for now, we don't need this. And we have basically finished this step. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up on your avatar. And then lastly, I'm going to show you how it works in game. So I will switch over to that part. Okay, now that we are over inside of Unity here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to grab the prefab for the Giggle Tech. So head over to the Giggle Tech Discord server. I'll leave a link to this in the description. You'll head over to prefabs here. And then here is where you'll find the .unity package. So what you'll do is you'll hit this, hit download, grab the file, go over to Unity, drag it in, and then you're going to hit import. Now, after you've done that, you should see a, a prefab here called Giggle Tech main object. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drag this in, and then we're going to drag it on top of our avatar. 
And then now what we're going to do is we're going to position this so that it kind of goes where we want it to be. So in this example, I'm going to be doing my head. So I'm going to drag it to around where I want. And then I'm going to use the size down tool and I'm going to size it down so that it's to where I want it, which will be kind of just the front of the head there. I'll make it a little bit bigger, move it back a little bit more. And there we go. Now that that is in place and the prefab is here, as long as you have VRC Fury installed, which you can easily add by going over to Manage Project and hitting the install here, or going to the link in the description and grabbing VRC Fury from there. After you've basically done that, all you have to do is go over to the VRChat SDK, show control panel, go to authentication, builder, lo after logging in, and then all you have to do is go ahead and upload your avatar. I've already done this, so I'll skip this part, but that is all you have to do, and I'll see you over in VRChat. Okay, so now after you've launched VRChat and booted up the game, either in VR mode or desk mode, uh, what you'll need to do is you'll need to open the three apps I've shown today. So the first one will be the Vor app. So I'm going to quickly run Vor over here. Now the next one will be the Giggle Tech app. And then finally, the other OSC app, if you do use that. If you don't, then ignore the Vor part. Um, and then I'm just going to open up face tracking here. And so after that, you've upload or done all three of these applications while in VR chat. All you need to do is hit start over here and it should start it up. And then we're going to follow over to the VR chat side of things. Okay, now that we are in game, we can actually open up our menu. And then if you head over to options, OSC, and then reset config, click that once. And then lastly, options, OSC, and then enable and disable it. Now, after you've done that, you'll notice that one, your original OSC tracking app, in this case for me, face tracking, is working perfectly. And then if we try, you'll notice Giggle Puck is also working. That should vibrate. Um, if it doesn't, feel free to quickly disconnect and reconnect your Giggle Puck. That can sometimes cycle it. And then additionally, with the prefab we added, we'll have a Giggle Tech menu option added to our avatar. And in here, we'll have the ability to enable and disable it. So right now, nothing's happening. And then if I were to enable it, it starts. And then additionally, we also have the option to change the motor speed. So all the way at 100%, very fast. And then all the way down to 10%, it's kind of just a slow rumble. Overall, this has just been a tutorial setup and kind of explanation of the device. If you're interested in getting one, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything. I just found this device online, found it super cool, and found that I could do some really interesting and fun projects with it. So I decided to pick one up, and so far, I've very much enjoyed it. Um, I would recommend you get one if you have the extra money to spare, but otherwise, um, this is just a fun little gimmick, and uh, if this has helped you set it up, or it's at least intrigued you in the device, um, leave a like and subscribe, I would appreciate that. And otherwise, have a lovely rest of your day. This has been Pinky, and uh, having fun. Hello, this is Pinky, and this is me thanking my Patreon and YouTube members those in Patreon being Cupid Fox, Dreaded, Blue Nino One, Emerald Nall, Tef, Sir Fappingson, Hamu, and Novun. And over on my YouTube members, there's AZ3, Hydro19, and Blue Nino One. What you guys do helps support my channel, and I appreciate it very much. Um, if you would like a little desktop goober, as shown in the video, you can get one by going to the link in the description. Um, otherwise, um, I would just like to say thank you for supporting me. What you guys do helps uh, me make videos. Anyways, this has been Pinky. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a lovely rest of your day.